The 69th Tour de Romandie, a stage race around the French-speaking cantons of Switzerland. First run in 1947, it's among the most prestigious events on the UCI World Tour Canada. This is a big team to watch. Orica Green Edge, huge candidates to take the win today. Look at that list, Albazini, Bully, Gerrans, Hepburn, Lancaster, Santa Romita. Tuft is a big man here. Orica Green Edge, it's a mountain sprint here for them to get to the top. They are going very, very well indeed. Five riders left in this formation. Simon Yates pulling up the front. That is Mikhail Albazini, the Swiss. Yeah, I think they're going to need his Albazini on the back of that. And here they come to the line. Whatever happens, they are going to set the fastest time. And I think they are going to absolutely smash every time that has gone before. Orica Green Edge, five riders to the line. Their leader is amongst them. It's Albazini who goes across first. He would be wearing the jersey. Ulrika Greenidge, you ripper. What a ride. Katusha with the 2010 winner, Simon Spilak. Spilak who had the win handed to him after Alejandro Valverde's win was expunged. You'd say that if Katusha were to set a big time, certainly with Spilak who's won this race before, then that is the time that's certainly going to set alarm bells ringing amongst the other big teams, the likes of Etix, the likes of Sky and Astana. 21-19-76 is the team to beat. And here we go, Katusha coming to the line. They're not going to quite get the fastest time, but it's going to be an extremely rapid one nonetheless. Team Katusha just 4.92 seconds down. What a little turn they put in on that final climb to make up a couple of seconds more. And Simon Spielak has had a wonderful start to the Tour de Romandie. So in 2012, it was Brad Wiggins. 2013, Chris Froome. 12 months ago, the African-born British Tour de France winner yet again to take the Tour de Romandie. Sky begin their attempt to make it four wins from four at the Tour de Romandie. It's going to be tense. It's going to be tight. Orica Greenedge set the fastest time at 15 kilometers. They went on to set the fastest time overall. And Magnus, what's just happened here at Le Pont? Well, Team Sky, 16.09. Orica Green Edge, at that point, 16.09. 18 seconds to go. It's going to be so tight, they can see the line ahead. 300 metres for Team Sky. There are the times at the bottom. Compare them, be ready, because it's going to be really, really tight. Sky Five, motoring to the line. Four, three, it is Sky two, about to one. come across the line. It's tense, and they have done it. 0.62 for Team Sky. And they will have the leader of this race. It's a win for Sky. It is a yellow for Sky. Team Sky disappoint a very, very strong Orica Green Edge team. Team Sky win the first stage of the 2015 Tour de Romandie and they win it by less than a second from a wonderful performance by Orica Green Edge. It's the British team who take the win with Geraint Thomas in the yellow jersey. Team Katusha in third with a solid ride for their leader Simon Spielak. Etix Quickstep fourth with Astana fifth. BMC 19 seconds down. Francaise de Jeux, Yam Cycling, Cannondale Garmin and Mommy Star rounding out a very very high quality top 10 on the day. Geraint Thomas is the leader ahead of Elia Viviani, Ian Stannard, Luke Rowe, Chris Froome, Pete Kenyug and Al Bassini, the first rider from Orica Green Edge.